The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. Air conditioners have a lot of moving parts that make noise, but if you notice that your AC is suddenly louder than it used to be, there's likely an issue. Sean McGraw from American Veteran AC is here with us this morning to talk about it. Hi, Sean. Good morning to you. Uh, if I hear sounds like a buzzing, rattling, or grinding coming from my unit, that means there's a problem. So let's take a moment and go over what's causing each of the sounds. First, you say a buzzing sound usually indicates some kind of electrical issue. What are the possible problems there? Uh, well, there's a, a full array of problems, but really common on it is a weak capacitor or a weak contactor. A lot of times uh, you'll get a buzzing noise off a contactor if it's uh, mm -hmm. weak or just not closing all the way. That generally turns into a big thing. Uh, if you hear a loud swish outside that you're not used to hearing, um, generally that's nothing to worry about. That's just your unit going into defrost as we're in the cooling season now, our heating season now. Okay. Um, what about a rattling noise? What if there's a rattling noise coming from the indoor or the outdoor unit? What might that indicate? Uh, rattling noises, uh, it, could, it could be a couple things. If it's on the outside or even on the inside, it could be just some twigs or sticks or something like that caught up in there. If we had some ice, that's usually a big problem mm -hmm. on that as well. Um, it could also be bearings usually going bad. You'll start hearing more of a roar sound coming off of the, uh, the motors as they're trying to spin. At that case, okay. it could be a motor going bad. It could just be as simple as it. We need to get out there and put some oil in it. Sure. And then what about grinding noises? People might report hearing some grinding. What might that sound be telling us? I'm trying to think of what a grinding noise or how somebody would really exhibit that. Um, but to me personally, if, I, if someone told me a grinding noise, I would probably be looking more towards the compressor section up there and, and just really mm -hmm. trying to figure out, hey, is the oil return coming back? Do we have some telltale signs of uh, premature wear on the compressor that we need to address? All right. Um, and then finally, you know, we talk all the, about these sounds, but what about smells? There, you should trust your sense of smell if something doesn't uh, smell right, right? Yep, always. But uh, yeah, especially <laughs> moving into the cooling season right now, um, one of the big things that you really don't need to call us on is that you'll, you'll smell like that kind of burning hair smell or mm -hmm. burning dust. Usually all that is is a heat, uh, the heat strips coming on for the first time in the season and it's got a bunch of dust and debris up on there. Generally it'll burn off. It's not a problem at all. Same thing with the heat exchanger. You will get some collection on that. Now if you did just have your furnace replaced um, and you smell like a smoldering smell, like an oil smell, you better not smell that from a furnace we replace. That should have been burnt off uh, during the installation. But generally that's all that is. And that will actually sometimes bring smoke out into the house. So your house probably isn't on fire, but you know, you might want to have that looked at. Well, it's certainly helpful to kind of know what some of these indicators are. What should we be listening for um, and smelling for? But you know, for people who don't want to think about any of that, they don't have to because of your full battle rattle. Tell us what that includes. We, we try to wrap everything all in one. So we're going to go ahead and replace the system. We take care of that. Uh, it's, it's a new high efficiency York system that we put in. And it doesn't matter as long as it's a res residential system, two to five tons, we'll, we'll take care of that. But on top of replacing that system, we're also going to maintain it for the next 10 years. So we're going to be out twice a year maintaining that system. Now here's the key to it is I'll get some people that say, well, I got a labor warranty on this. And, and yes, well, everything is included, labor, parts, everything. You won't touch that system for 10 years. But in addition to that, the goal is that it doesn't break. So we're not waiting for a part to break before we bring it to attention and take care of it. If we get out there and we hear some of those noises that we're talking about or some of those smells, we're going to go ahead and take care of it before it becomes an issue and you have a breakdown on the system. That's the goal. That all sounds like good peace of mind, and uh, people are really interested in that. They're going to love working with you, and they can contact American Veteran by calling the number on screen, 435-0822, or visiting AmericanVeteranAC.com. Sean McGraw for American Veteran, thanks so much for being here as always. Thank you for having me. God bless y'all. Hey, look, if y'all are looking for more tips, we're always looking for your feedback, and we want to answer your questions, and we will on a regular basis on our YouTube channel. So subscribe right here to our YouTube channel, not here, here to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and we'll, we'll try to make sure we take care of all the questions and answer them efficiently for you. Y'all take care, God bless.